Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm going to speak extra loud today because there's some drilling going on outside and I'm like, why? Why right now? Maybe I should have waited until they go on their lunch break. So I did watch the first two episodes of Agatha All Alone streaming now on Disney+. Plus, And I just want to be upfront with you guys because um, I usually don't talk about my personal life here on the channel, but I think, like I said, I owe it to you an explanation why like my content has been lacking, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm always posting videos a bit later than usual. So I've recently became single. Yes. Yes. Um, I just went through a breakup. So the first, you know, couple of weeks I was still like, you know, dealing with things and also now adjusting to a new life of like being single and not having a partner after having a partner for you know many years so it's been a bit of an adjustment but i'm good i'm healed and it's funny because a friend of mine one of my best friends she's also going through a breakup like at the same time as me so it's like you know a blessing in disguise i don't wish heartbreak on anyone but we've been really leaning on each other but i did watch agatha when it came out so let's talk about it first of all i have a theory and let me know if you agree with my theory in the comments below i think a lot of wanda fans are not comic book fans because in my head i was like did wanda vision fans ask for a, a spin-off unless we will get um wanda back do you think elizabeth olsen will show up in agatha all along she did make a little cameo because we see the scarlet hair um she's the dead body on the first episode you know wanda not olsen but this is why actors don't want to sell their likeness because of things like that because if elizabeth olsen had sold her likeness they could have just used ai you know to put her on the show i'm not a big marvel person i never even seen one of the avengers i fell asleep on captain america i fast forward to um what was infinity war where he says like um avengers assemble and grabs the hammer um because i saw that famous scene scene that famous moment in the movie theater where people went nuts when um chris evans said that line so i fast forward the whole movie just to see that particular scene i'm more of a dc person but my sister when wonder vision came out she pushed and pushed and pushed for me to watch it because she said it's not like a superhero movie you're going to like it and i saw previews and trailers and um, when i saw that was like you know i love lucy type of thing and i'm also a very big fan of elizabeth olsen i think she's a great actress she's very charismatic she's beautiful to look at so i gave one the visual a try and loved it i loved it so when the agatha thing was coming out i was like i don't know i don't know if i want to watch it because i wasn't that much invested in agatha on wonder vision like i said i watched it for elizabeth olsen but i heard someone compare one of uh, one um agatha all along to three movies the craft witches of eastwick and practical magic i was like what those are my top three favorite witches movies well i will also say that witches with angelica houston the first one the convention of witches that anne hathaway did like a remake yeah that's another like maybe those are like the top four witches movies that i love so I was like, oh man, now I gotta watch. I get also Charmed vibes. Do you, have you guys remember that, that show? Shannon Dorothy, Alyssa Milano. Um, me and my sister were big Charmed fans. So when I heard someone say that Agatha, it's not a Marvel show, I was like, oh, that's a good thing for me. And I agree. It's not very much, not that I'm like um, an expert on Marvel um, shows, but yeah, I don't feel like it's an MCU type of show and maybe that's why I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. I don't know if it's because there are a couple mysteries to solve and I love a good mystery or the cast. I think the cast overall, it's mwah, so good. The the kid that plays, um kid, he, like the guy that plays teen, uh, Joe Lockie, he, he was in um, Heartstopper. I think it's on Netflix. 
that guy it's so good he's really keeping up with Catherine Hahn and he delivers some sarcastic lines that oh like he he's so good and I love that he's fangirling over Agatha also the mystery who is he do you think he's Wanda's um son there's a whole rumor out there in the internet that he might be Wanda's son and that she put a spell on him to protect him because every time Agatha asks him, like, where are you from? What's your name? He's like, oh, it, like, no sound comes out. Or um, he, like, his mouth is shut whenever he's trying to say something, like something personal about him. So maybe Wanda put a spell on him. And Catherine Ha, like, what can we say about her? She's amazing here. It's her show. And I believe she was acting as a bad actress on the first part of the, um, the first episode where they do a spoof of Mayor of Easttown, uh, which I thought was like genius. And I was watching and I was like, wait, I don't remember Katherine Hahn being this bad of an actress because she was so awful. But I'm like, I totally believe she did that on purpose because she was stuck. You know, Wanda put a spell on her that she was stuck on a, like on a TV show, just like Wanda was. Um, that idea was also very genius. And that she slowly started to realize that her whole life was a farce you know, from the town that she lived in to the, like the car, there was no car that she was driving. She wasn't like a detective. But speaking of the, the teen character, um, I like the inclusion of a gay man amongst um, a group of witches because I don't think we've ever seen before. It's usually just a, a coven, you know, it's the group of witches. We know he's gay, right? But it's not his whole personality. Just like um, Aubrey Plaza, who's so good and she looks so good in the show. Her and Agatha, we know they're lovers, right? It's safe to assume that they had a relationship in the past. And that's another little mystery that I would like to know. Like, you know, what's the backstory between those two? I also think it's safe to assume that the other ladies, they're part of the convent. They are part of the LGBTQ community. I think, and it all makes sense because I think witches always had a queer vibe about them, right? And don't get me started on vampires. If you are a fan of vampires, vampires are usually bi or gay. Just watch Interview with the Vampire, the first one with Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise, Antonio Banderas as Armand, come on, totally gay. And then the new show, Interview with the Vampire, which by the way, Netflix is picking it up. So if you haven't watched Interview with the Vampire, the show on AMC, Netflix is going to air it soon, if not already. But I hear it's a really good show, so I haven't seen it. My sister loves it. One thing that's different in the show too, um, from other witches' movies, is that there are no men, you know, no love interest for the witches and i wonder if that would i don't know turn people off a bit or people won't connect to the story i hope not because like i said it's just it makes sense the representation just makes sense for those complaining that the pacing of the first two episodes was pretty slow i disagree i really disagree because i thought the pacing was very nice i had no problem with it like you need to have that world building and character development to understand the story like you can't just you know rush things like oh let's just get to the witch's road by episode one it's like no you have to understand why this witches decided to blindly follow agatha you know speaking of the witch's road that song okay very very catchy sticks in your head it was written by the lopez couple the same couple that wrote um songs for frozen let it go let it go yeah that's them so that's why that song is so catchy and i loved the ladies harmonizing to it i wonder if it's like the real actress singing because it was like it was really cool and i think that's that song is going to be like a hollywood like hollywood a halloween staple for a lot of people out there but that scene where they were singing ran a bit long for me. Like, even Agatha made a joke about it. She said something like, oh, I didn't think it was going to be this long. So I'm really looking forward to more episodes 
of the show. Um, we get one episode a week, but then on the last week at the finale, we're going to get two episodes. Um, so what did you think of Agatha all along? Are you enjoying it so far? Or are you like, no, it's not for me. It's not Marvel enough. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and letting me share a little bit of my life. Um, if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the little bell, the notification button, so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you next time.